we will have the ability to do a really near instant settlement for very, very cheap of uh, any any stables that uh, arise on the network. What's up, Crypto Crew, and welcome back, or if this is your first time, I'm Captain Crypto Might, actively escaping the matrix, scoping out the crypto oceans. If you like your odds, get on the boat, stay up to date, thumbs up, and join the hunt. Into the boat! Crypto Crew, with the current price per Casper coin as low as it is at the making of this recording, I actually believe the tier 1 exchanges are packing their bags as we speak. For now, Crypto Crew, you can buy Casper at its current low price at Maxi, as Maxi has extremely low low trading fees on Caspa and has a special event for you, Crypto Crew, that won't be up for long. But if you deposit and start trading on Maxi today, you could potentially earn 20,000 USDT. Just sign up through my referral link and see what's on the other side for you. What other cryptocurrency should you buy? What's the next Bitcoin? Well, walk by faith and not by sight. With the market price per Caspa coin as of the making of this recording, it's important to keep conviction i.e. keep conviction in the team, in this case, the Caspa team. There is no debate that payments on chain is much better than payments through the TradFi system. But stable coins, they are the predominant player now and are growing at a rapid rate and seem to be coming the form of payment that we will use on chain. Do you think that Casper could be that form of payment though? Because of the volatility, it's it's more likely that a stable coins will be the daily payment. However, paying for to move the token of, of the stable coin would be Caspa. We have KRC20 tokens. We have an inscription service, uh, a protocol called Casplex. It's another, you know, outside party developed a, a protocol that works, that runs on the Caspa network. And uh, we have some memes on there and we have some stable coins that are just beginning. It's only, only been going for about a, a maybe five weeks or something, but we have, we have a lot of action going on. And then um, simultaneously, we have a really neat and interesting type of smart contract breakthrough technology uh, in the smart contract realm that's uh, already hashed out on paper and it will become funded and, and go into development very shortly here. We will have the ability to do a really near instant settlement for very, very cheap of uh, any any stables that uh, arise on the network. Um, in fact, there's a really in interesting use case that's uh, been put forth by um, a group of energy giants from uh, the, the MENA, uh, Middle, Middle East, North Africa region and Europe. And uh, it's called CASPA Industrial Initiative. And one of their primary um, focuses is they want to create a token called Gigawatt token. Gigawatt coin isn't just another, another stable coin. It's a financial instrument designed for the energy sector. Built on CASPA's ultra scalable proof of work tech, it's backed by real world assets like renewable energy credits, carbon offsets, green bonds, physical energy infrastructure, as well as a basket of select fiat assets. It's fractionize, fractionizable down to the kilowatt hour. And what that means is every fraction represents a real unit of energy. And it means that energy can become a globally tradable financial asset. Instant settlements on energy-related transactions can happen via Casper. These are guys that have huge energy grids for you know entire countries uh, in the Middle East, like in Dubai and Saudi Arabia and lots of European countries. Uh, you know, it's either like states, counties, or, or the whole country. And and during certain parts of the day, they're 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 making extra electric, so they they put it out on the grid. And then uh, when in this peak demand in the, in their area, then they they pull a little back and they borrow it back from the, the other electric providers on the continent and they need to settle right now with fiat banking you know so uh that the wire wiring and and the the f foreign exchange that's very uh time consuming to accounting for and and the the fees and the conversion rate is very expensive so they're going to make gigawatt token and it's going to be a token on caspa it's going to be backed by energy and and uh fiat currencies and and some other things and uh this will give them the ability to uh seven days a week 24 hours a day Every 15 minutes, everybody on the grid can bounce out. This guy owes, you know, it, a, a million watts, and this guy's got 750,000 something. Bip, 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 and it's all, you know, servers and and just executing these transactions in the gigawatt token. It was very important for them that it was um, censorship resistant, decentralized. So we're based on miners and, and it's it's open source software and there's no controlling entity 
uh, we don't have validators, we don't have staking. Uh, so, you know, if, if somebody goes, oh, that country, those are bad guys, uh, like this address has like a uh, sanctioned money or whatever, like freeze the address, Solana, and wire it to uh, the US Department of Energy. Like that can happen on other chains. Uh, did I say Solana? Whoops, sorry about that. But like it can't happen on Bitcoin and it can't happen on Caspa. So mm -hmm. it's very important to dis you know, distinguish between decentralized and um, centralized, you know. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I know you guys are a young chain. So, you know, and it takes time to to build a chain, to get projects on board, to get projects to build on your chain and then to launch and like all these things. So can you just give us where are you guys at right now in terms of adoption and use? How, how much usage is there on chain? Can you give us any metrics or any numbers? And then maybe um, I wouldn't be surprised if your numbers are low and that's okay because you guys are new. So maybe give us a paint the picture for how you can grow and what needs to happen in order for Caspa to achieve that breakout and those network effects that we've seen from some of the other chains. Uh, I believe we have, we have several hundred thousand uh, active uh, wallets at the moment. As I had mentioned, the KRC20, the inscription, uh, the ability to create meme tokens and, and to have stables and other, other purpose uh, tokens on the network, uh, that just came out about five weeks ago. Uh, we have some very high volume uh, going on. I think I think we did 15 or 17 million transactions. Uh, we settled in a 24 hours. We had like a uh, a minting um, process where a, a new token was launched and and people were minting. They were paying a little bit of Caspa and and generating tokens from this doing inscriptions and. Uh, yeah, I think it was like uh, it was a world record for a proof of work uh, network. So that was uh, really neat to see that. I started mining Bitcoin in 2011, so I've been around for a while. I heard about it on World of Warcraft, playing video games actually paid off. So. <laughs> but anyway, uh, Yonatan, uh, he, he's he's great. He's he's come up with uh, several protocols and um, Ethereum's like framework of their technology ha has used his ghost, uh, slightly modified version of his ghost protocol from over 10 years ago. When they first switched the proof of stake within, you know, I think it was two springs ago, uh, like a year and a half ago, they had a consensus outage for like 45 minutes and none of their nodes were really pro validating blocks i believe but the, to the user experience the transactions seem to still be flowing and their developers later thank you know pointed out like thanks to ghost protocol the users uh the end users still w were able to do transactions and so like i think it's neat that the founder's brain power from over 10 years ago is still po powering the number two coin is, is helping to power the number two coin for for you know what is it, eight years now ethereum's been pretty famous and his his uh you know his thinking's only only gotten better and and his tech is is more refined then we have uh, a lead developer that's also a wizard he's an expert in high performance computing so in the last two years our our original uh programming language was golang and then they rewrote the whole thing in rust which is a high performance uh language so now in a single brain of a computer most people have heard of the cpu like the ryzen or the intel processor and they have multiple cores like even even a cell phone has like eight cores now so it's like eight little brains can think of different stuff inside the same chip if that uber is good if that block is valid or not uh we validate different blocks inside the same cpu in different threads at the same time so it's like it's like a supermarket checkout lane you know when you're like there's only there's a lot of people and there's only one cashier open and there's a long line everyone's waiting every single blockchain in the world except us goes has to wait for the for to get checked out the next block the next block the next block through one we're the first one that has multiple cashiers open so different blocks go through different rails inside the same cpu um that's a, that's another world first of caspa that makes it really interesting caspa's at an interesting point uh, as are uh, many of the younger blockchains it's easy to forget that Bitcoin has been around for 15 years and Ethereum has been around for uh, eight to 10 years. Uh, so these chains that we use, and even Solana has been around for a while too, slightly less than Ethereum, but they've been around for many, many years and they've had time to build the network effects, to build, to, to build an ecosystem of builders on top. And there is going to be other chains that succeed in the long term. I have no doubt about it. And there's definitely an opportunity for uh, Caspa to be one of those chains, as you said, based on the tech and the speed and the what you are offering is something that uh, is not 
offered currently in the space. So, Hey, thanks a lot for inviting me. Always fun to meet new people. You got a really cool vibe. And like I said, the, the name of the show is great. And uh, I hope your, uh, your watchers and viewers uh, get something cool out of it. At Maxi, you can buy this cheap cash, but at extremely low trading fees, you could potentially earn 20,000 USDT if you deposit and start trading on Maxi today. So sign up through my referral link and see what's on the other side for you. Walk by faith and not by sight. Stick around. Fix your mind before you get to the grind. And with that said, let's continue to escape the matrix. Let's continue to be on the lookout for the next big thing here on the crypto ocean. Growing grace and let's make some crypto waves. Say I.